What's up guys, this is me, Alien Blaze, and last video, we defeated Asriel Dreamer, the son of Asgore and Toriel. After that, we woke up here. Let's just have to see what they have to say. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's trying to kill Frisk at least once. <laughs> oh, let's see. In that case, I'm not sorry, Frisk. Asgore! That's not what I meant. Psst, Frisk. P Frisk, um, y you gotta tell me. Do, do, do you think Asgore and Toriel are uh, ever gonna get back together? Yeah. Yeah, I hope that's what happens. I hope too. Just think about how cute they must have been together. It's quickly becoming my number one ship of all time. Of all time. Tori and Gory. My my old boss and his ex-wife. Uh, that sounds a lot less cool all of a sudden. Oh, doesn't it all. So I'll all you want to do now that we're all free. We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm gonna going to go out and, um, no, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration for being losers. <laughs> the virus is the right idea. Losing the first is the best thing that's ever happened. So I'm glad that we... <clears throat> huh? What is it, Ask for? Um, what's that? Anime. What's an anime? Oh my god! Frisk, please, help me explain what anime is, Asgore. You see, it's like a cartoon, but... Strange. I watched anime one time. I didn't like it. But it had swords in it. So it was like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly, that sounds neat, though. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? Oh, hold on, uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the wrong, uh, never mind. Oh, golly, were those two robots? Kissing. Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it sure is. So, uh, Asgore, how are making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, I might not need the Royal Guard anymore. <clears throat> what? Then what was the point of the human's quest? They do it all that way. And I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. <clears throat> hey, Chris, what's with that weird expression? Sans? Sans, did I tell you about the time Frisk flirted with me? I never did that. And then asked me to call me mother? No, oh boy. Wow, Frisk. This really puts our relationships in a new light. Yeah. Hey, Tori, do you have any other embarrassing stories? Oh, do I ever? But I think that story is one of the most unbelievable. It's hard to think that anyone would want to flirt with me. <laughs> oh, Toriel, you have no idea. She knows about the internet. She knows about all the Toriel fanboys and fangirls, I don't know. Hello, Frisk. Alfie's upgraded my phone. I am having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check this one out. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Well, we're not five, so we're texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, <coughs> we're dorks. Ugh, Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You're more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow. Those points are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. Alright, so let's go check out the rest <clears throat> the rest of the world and how that has advanced. Alright. Right, I'm gonna stop the video here until we get to Snowden.
because I want to see Monster Kid. How, how he's doing? He's like my second. He's like my second favorite character. Sec right next to Flowey. Let's talk with these people, actually. Sorry, or ever, we're not doing this, so I don't know. Alright, let's have the burger pants. Talk. What? Why? I'll get in trouble if I get chummy with the customer, sorry. So we're free, huh? You might have to talk too much. Then he told me, don't think. That means you're getting out of work early. I'm oh, my boss. I love that guy. <laughs> my dad, I mean, I hate him so much. No! Alright, Bradley and Kay. Those girls, once you saw my pants fall down, well, we're all gonna be free, so I never see them again, at least. Freedom. Don't want anyone to slow, buddy, because they'll make fun of me. <clears throat> but I feel like I played a hand in everyone getting free somehow. And for the boys are working in this awful job, I think I did something. I don't know if it's true, but I'll believe you anyway. Little buddy, <laughs> there's a brand new world out there waiting for all of us. I'm sure my head <clears throat> qualifications, it won't be long before I'm a famous movie star. Or maybe I'll just end up flipping burgers again. But it's, as I say, nowhere to go but up. Literally in this case. Oh, well his personality has changed drastically. Now why are you guys on your own? I guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news! The elevator started working again, but now it's so busy we've gotten the we haven't gotten a chance to ride. Oh, the elevator is in use. I just slam. I'm overjoyed. Okay then. I just slam. He is overjoyed, everybody. Room service never came. Side. Finish up work. Yo, I, I like this game. It's like it has such creativity. Like, like Aaron, for example. Like the all the bosses, they have feeling to it. Like Aaron flexes in and stuff. Blah blah. blah now we can live life without reservations. Like you can feel it. How everything is. How like it describes everything. About how like everything it is. How nice all these monsters are. Oh, we're all free? Alright, now let's cut to Monster King. Alright, ta la la, ta la Snowden. Don't worry, Moonster Cube. We're coming for you. Also, I heard after doing a little bit of research, um, I found out that Asriel. Um, he's at the very first room that we arrive in in Undertale, so we could traverse back there, and you know, it'll be good, and we could talk to him and stuff. He talks about how he doesn't want to go to the surface because of how he is and stuff, which is sad too, because like, he's, he has a lot of character, this guy, and it's just sad. Right. Yo, uh, don't, don't talk to me. That was rude. Y you're a jerk. Alright. Alright, so let's cut to Asriel Dream. Okay, guys, so well, we're in the ruins now, close to him. But let's have a little chit chat for a second, alright? This game, like, tell me in the comment section, like, um, how do you guys feel about the game? Would you guys play this game? I mean, it's a, it's a good game and all. If anything, it's like. It has a message, sort of, it feels like. That's what it feels like this game is. It has, like, it has a message to it, like, it's like a game of hope. That, like, stuff, you know. It's all good. Oh, shit, I forgot about you. Oh, yeah, yeah, I forgot about this, too. I can go back here and just try to... Now, look at this. We just, I just backtracked everything. And just went back all the way over here. This game really is an amazing thing. It really is. I, rec I will recommend this. To I recommend this to everybody. Oh, let me see. Is the candy thing there? Yeah, still just the candy's gone. 
we took too long. Now our candy is gone. Look out. Oh jeez, how long is this room? Now we pull the switch and that made like all of that stuff fall down. Oh, there's the training dummy. Let's, let's look at this. Uh, we can't interact with it at all. The switch just need the switch just need to work. Alright then. Alright, well we're almost there. Joshua hated humanity. Why they did, they, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Chris, you really are different from Joshua. In fact, though, you have uh, similar fashion choices. I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Joshua wasn't really the greatest person. Well, Chris, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was just pre uh, projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff at the flower. Just, you know, Joshua combined their souls together to control of our bodies as we split between us. They were the one that picked up on their own empty body. And then when we got to the village, they were they wanted to they use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then because of me, we had to end up as a flower. Chris, this whole time I blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopt, adapt, adopted that whole horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, first I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have to had to wage war against all of humanity. In the end, everyone will free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision, but you can't regret hard choices your whole life, can not right? Not that much, have much life left, but that's besides the point. First, thank you for listening to me. You should really go and be your, with your friends down. Oh, and please, in the future, if you want uh, to see me, don't think about me, okay, okay, okay? I just want to remember me like this, someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and first, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is out there. There are a lot of flowers out there, that's true. Not everybody can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Strive for. Well, see you. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? Frisk, don't you have anything better? That's it? Did I use the last dream on her? I 
I can't do anything. Alright then, well, let's just go to San Well then, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And the next video that we do, which is the, probably the, yeah, the, the final part of Undertale, um, we're gonna go to the barrier and have that happy ending. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and bye!